with the Velus robotic uh, assisted uh, surgery that we're doing here in Meadville. Uh, there's a couple other uh, robotic systems uh, uh, throughout the United States especially. Um, basically what it's allowing us to do is uh, we're still doing the surgery. It's just another tool in the toolbox. Uh, but what we do is during surgery we actually map out the knee. Okay, uh, So with this particular system that we're using here, uh, it has a special camera, so we have trackers on the knee. It takes thousands of pictures per second, so we actually map out the knee during surgery. That allows us to plan the surgery kind of live time. Uh, so we're planning our cuts down to the half a millimeter, uh, down to a half a degree. Uh, we also balance the knee throughout surgery. Uh, so we stress kind of the soft tissue envelope around the knee. Uh, and we're basically putting the knee replacement or aligning the knee replacement in the joint to whatever is the most soft tissue friendly. Uh, and what we're finding is people are generally recovering more quickly. Uh, they say the knee feels more natural. Uh, and I think a, another thing we're gonna find is that the implants last longer because it's kind of in that perfect sweet spot in the knee joint, so it doesn't wear out as quickly. So, Where do you see this in 10 years? Yeah, so that's another <laughs> exciting thing is we're just kind of scratching the surface of where robotics can go. Uh, so it's, it's very exciting to see where it's gonna take us in the next few years. Um, yeah. Uh, a big uh, thing that uh, I think it's going to be kind of the next step is using robotics for revision surgery or redo surgery. Uh, I don't think the technology is quite there yet, but I think that's the next step with things.